Hey, viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist, and welcome back to another round of F My Life with me and Phil. How you doing, Hello. Phil? Hello! There Hi, he yeah. is. There's everyone. Let's, let's have a look at some more uh, interesting scenarios and things and poor people uh, getting um, having things that are a bit um, I suppose what you could think of this as is a sort of its own separate version of the reddit well that sucks yeah kind of um, um, with, with all these pictures. things mm. yeah but this is in, this is basically in, in text form yes yeah okay um, shall I start uh, cruising. Uh, yeah yeah, cruising for a bruising. Today I was taking the subway home when some entitled fuck called me a junkie, all because I'm long haired and have my arms covered in tattoos. Yeah, that's definitely your life sucks. You're never going to see them again, so don't let it affect you. Yeah, that's don't what let I say. It. You're never going to see them again. Do not let them affect you. Let them say what they want to say, um, but just don't, just don't let it affect you because you're never yeah. going to see them again. They're not an important part of your life. Move on. Indeed. That's what I say. Not important part of your life. Move on. You're not a junkie just because you got tattoos. I know loads of like, like my my sister's boyfriend's got tattoos all all over me, and he's a tattoo artist. That's his job, and he's a, he's a really cool dude. He's yeah. a great he's a great person. Mm. So, you shouldn't let anything like that affect you at all. And yeah. um, you you can have whatever you want on your body. If you if you love having tattoos all over and you love having long hair, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. Your style, you you should have what you want. Indeed. Don't let some entitled little fucktard deal with the way I mean because you're only, you're only going to um, see them once in your life yeah because and also uh, can I just say there's a certain type of person out there who I always think to myself even if you're when you're in public and it's a complete stranger why would you pass comment on someone like that like why what is the point it's a stranger you don't know who they are exactly so, like what maybe is wrong maybe with you? Maybe he's drunk. Maybe yeah. he's a bit drunk. You never drunk know. Something like that. In which case, yeah, he's just an asshole. Don't worry about yeah, him. Big time. That's a definite. We'll your life sucks on that one. We're with Sorry you. Sorry about that. Yeah. Mm, indeed. Uh, Hammerhead is our next one. Um, okay. It's you. Yeah. Was, um, <laughs> it's, Are you alright? Okay. Yeah, it was just on your screen. It wasn't scrolling down for some oh, reason. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, Hammerhead. Uh, today I had to listen to my classmate loudly argue a question you got wrong on a test for a half an hour, repeating the same incorrect argument ad nauseum. She screamed at the rightfully exasperated teacher for being biased when he gave up and started screaming again when I tried to explain it in a different Oof. way. Yeah. Oh, God, that sucks when you have someone who's like really boneheaded about... Yes. You're clearly pointing out the explanation of why they're wrong, but they just won't listen. It's like they're convinced that they're right. Which, yes. Yeah, oh, I, dear. people who, who always think they're right, it's, it's not It's not the case. Yeah. Well, plus, why are you trying to loudly um, argue a question with the teacher? I'm sorry, but uh, I think you'll find that the teacher is a bit more knowledgeable than you are. Yeah, he's probably right. They've gone indeed. through, you know, lots of edu they've gone through lots of teaching and lots of education and things like that. Yeah, uh, the thing is, like, if this is just an example of what they call like Dunning Kruger um, in action. This yeah. one, like the stupid person who thinks they're right and just cannot see that they've got it wrong. Um, <laughs> but yes, um, oh man, that's how not to do things. That's definitely your life sucks. You know, that's always yeah, for being situations. biased, honestly. Yeah. yeah, big time. Indeed, right. yeah. Illegal and stupid is the next one. Today it was my stag do. One minute I was at the pub buying a drink, the rest was a blur until I woke up completely naked in an ambulance with all my friends standing over me. They put sleeping pills in my drink and hired an ambulance. It was my stag do prank. That feels dangerous, not gonna lie. No. Yeah. Yeah, it does. That it is. It is a uh, a little funny thing to uh, uh, to prank people on because uh, I think I think the people do get pranked on their on their stag yeah, do because their last uh, the last moments before the old ball and chain gets them. <laughs> wow. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. But yeah, sleeping. But you've got to be careful with any sort of drug-related. Yeah. Keep it safe, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're trying to say here. Don't do stupid shit, okay? Like putting sleeping pills in an alcoholic drink feels like a recipe for potential disaster. Um, yeah, because they're very, very effective as sleeping pills. Yeah. Um, it's like um, when you go under anesthesia. Yeah. Um, mm. And oh, I suppose. Oh. I'm yeah, just I suppose curious. it is illegal. Yeah. As well. Just basically drugging someone and it's just yeah. like I mean also can I ask what country you're in where you can hire an ambulance because that's what, what, what genuinely an ambulance or is, where, where or do you mean just like you I don't know hired a van and decked it out like an ambulance or something I don't no. know I no, no I think it's genuinely an ambulance. Yeah, but Strange. I don't know why they would. Yeah, I don't know why they'd give you one. Yeah, because surely they need it for more for medical emergencies. For more and pressing things. Yeah, it seems a weird story. Um, it, it just I just want clarification of that point. What country are you in where that's possible? Because I wouldn't have thought that you know they would loan ambulances out for stag dues that just seems really strange. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, um, uh, but just be careful with your. Yeah. 
uh, maybe tell your friends that you shouldn't really have been doing that. No, because it's not. Uh, yeah, the worst one though I ever heard about a stag do where uh, the dude's mates did something really crazy um, oh, and that no. caused a lot of um, a lot of debate was the um, a dude and his mates and his girlfriend. Basically, what they did was. Um, so him and his girlfriend were like driving uh, down a road and then suddenly all his mates put on like balaclavas and like intercepted his car and pretended oh, that they were kidnapping God. him and they're like oh. yeah and literally like he had no idea and was like absolutely fucking terrified the girlfriend was completely in on it but pretended that she was terrified as well so they kidnapped him and took him away and apparently he actually he so in in the interviews afterwards he said oh yeah it was just a prank and all that but apparently he did actually get shingles afterwards because of like stress from it and things oh, like God. this yeah, things like yeah. That. it's just like Jesus um, stupid do you know Sam Pepper oh I've heard of him um, yeah he did an infamous uh, prank where he he pretended to kidnap his his um, pretended to kidnap his friend mm. um, and, and another friend and basically take him tie him up and then pretend like um, um, this friend, he, he pretended like um, there were the two two guys who were friends with each other. Pretended like he shot the other, and he oh, generally he just murdered him. Oh but Jesus! It was all a prank. Yeah. Yeah. There's people who just they take things take way too far. too far. Yeah, and it's just like, look, that's not funny. That's just fucked up. Why are you doing that? Stop! Don't do that. Indeed. Do that. Yes. So. Okie dokie. Yeah. So your life sucks. But also, um, can someone please give me context on where on earth you can get you can hire an ambulance? Because yeah, that's a bit of a strange thing. Yeah. That one. I wouldn't expect you to do that anywhere because you need some medical emergencies. Yeah. Um, scarred for life. Scarred for life. Today, my son confessed to me that the reason he'd rather die single is because my husband and I are so toxic to each other as we end up arguing over even petty things, yet we still refuse a divorce after 30 years. Therefore, we're to blame for leaving him traumatised and terrified of marrying. He is 22. Oof. I mean, I'm not going to lie. If, you know, he's grown up with that and he's just seen, well, of course, his view of, you know, marriage is going to be kind of skewed. And so, yeah, I mean, if you are being toxic to each other, I feel like now is the time maybe to think about your relationship and whether it would actually be better just to split up. Especially after 30 years. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why, but I don't know about why, why are you both refusing to divorce each other? Do you, why are you both? That, that's, that's a bit weird as well. Yeah. But I can that, see why. Um... Cause he's, He's brought up in that environment. Yeah, I can. Like, I know some couples, they still feel the need sometimes to stay together when there's children involved because they feel like they have to be there f- together for the kids. But I mean, it, it depends on like kids. Obviously, you find it difficult, but you have to seriously think about whether, in the long run, can you seriously live together and not be toxic to each other. But if you feel like you genuinely can't live together, then it might just be healthier in the short term to inflict that pain of separation on your child, but knowing that you might be there to help them get over it. And then, you know, you can still come out all right at the end of it, rather than sort of stretching it out and causing this long-term toxicity. So it's hard decisions, but you've got to think about these things. Um, Oh yes, exactly. Um, And, the uh, by maybe by by splitting up as well, it'll be a lot better for yeah. mm. for for him as well. Indeed, um, because then he then he he might start to feel like he wants to get into a relationship again. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. So mm. I think kind of um, I, I can see why a lot of people have you deserved it on that one because I feel like staying together for thirty years, even though clearly your relationship not going is just well. toxic. Yeah. I like come on, you've got to. There's, there's got to be some action on that. Um, so, yeah. yeah, it's unfortunate, but indeed. Okie dokie. Okay. Whispering wind. Today, nobody wants to hang out with me due to a nasty rumour that my ex has spread. No one will tell me what was said, because I apparently know full well what I did. Oh, okay. okay. This is an old uh, one from 2013, apparently. Um, so, and that, ooh, oh, yes. Now, it just goes to show you the, the, the volatile nature of uh, rumours. Yeah, indeed. Um, and that that's a shame. I know that some um, exes, you know, can have a... Uh, can be very uh, spiteful, very, yeah. Very, very disgruntled uh, with the way things are going, yeah. Still, and, but... I feel like, you know, if you're the sort of person who genuinely uh, is spreading rumours about someone, that on one level suggests quite horrible things about you as a person in terms of you're probably just manipulative but at the same time it's like one of those things where you know I mean it's hard for us to judge because we don't know the full ins and outs of this old former relationship 
but it's still don't spread rumours about people it's just not... yeah because it could bring their friendship down you could bring yeah. and everyone will start to hate them for, and they're not even sure why and they might yeah. not have even done it as well also, Remember, can I just say can people fucking communicate and stop with the whole oh you know what you did and I'm not going to say what it was if you know perhaps sometimes if you communicated with each other maybe you could resolve these issues so you know to anyone out there who yeah Andrew you uh, know what you did yeah I know what I did I uh, you know took on an FML and then uh, interrupted Phil when he was talking and Phil got pissed off and I went and cried you know he went crying he was so traumatised he had to see a therapist afterwards Oh, dude, I mean, it ended up costing him a lot of money, and then as a result, he got behind on his mortgage payments for his house, so he got evicted, yeah, and then he ran worked. away that to was, Malaga. That was a weird uh, set of links. Yeah. <laughs> I know, that went crazy, yeah. didn't it? <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Yeah, people yeah. should stop going, you know what you did. No, we don't okay, know so what, what did we I did. Do? So what did I do? Tell me that. No, I'm yeah. not telling you. Oh, yeah. God. Indeed. So many relationship problems can be solved if people just communicate more oh. with each other. Indeed. Yeah. So, hey, um, I would say, yeah, so your life sucks on that oh, one. Just based even on... Those, yeah. Even those 2013, but Indeed. there you go. Yeah. So hopefully it's, hopefully it's vastly improved now since 2013, I would say. Yeah. Uh, okay, love in the time of Facebook. Today I noticed my ex had unblocked me on Facebook. Still, I miss her and haven't been able to find love since our breakup. I sent her a friend request thinking maybe she was leaving the door open for me and we would reconcile. Apparently I was wrong because she promptly blocked me again. Yeah, don't, uh, don't try yeah, don't to... Go. Yeah, sorry, I think she must have done that by mistake. Yeah, indeed. It looks like. Yeah. And I'm saying, you know, if you've broken up with someone, you've broken up for a reason, it's highly unlikely that you're just going to somehow magically get back together. So don't. And there have been occasions. Yeah, there have been occasions where it's people rare, have got back together. Right? They... Yeah. <laughs> well, it's actually not as rare as you think. Some people, are, like, there's been a, a fair few people who have actually got back together because they've actually missed each other quite a lot. But m- majority of the time, um, it, it that, that sort of it there. Yeah. And, and you've got to sort of move on i know it's the sort of cliche oh you need to move on and and it looks like here you haven't quite Indeed. got yeah haven't quite moved on but yeah. well when you're feeling like that ladies and gentlemen sometimes you just gotta you know first and foremost consider why you broke up in the first place was it something that was just insurmountable and just remember that um why that was exactly. indeed so yeah i mean um i hate i hate to say sort of you deserved it because it's not it, like clearly you're in a sort of difficult emotional place so I don't want to sound like I'm being judgmental um, so I should say there should be a third option there for you know, that's well, hilarious <laughs> that's hilarious yeah, that's, that's our third option <laughs> that one yeah. okay let's make it the fourth option then uh, for <laughs> you know it's unfortunate but I guess you've learned something from that maybe so yeah hopefully you've learned something yeah. okay I need a wipe today I crashed my motorbike and broke both my arms I have to rely on my mum and aunt taking turns to do everything for me well well I'm afraid if, if that, that 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 does happen sometimes you yeah you do lose the functionality of various things and i'm, I'm really sorry that you uh, had a, yeah. a motorbike crash but uh, eventually your arms will heal um, indeed and they will get sorted out and yeah you, you might have to rely on your on, on yeah. parents like i um had an instant in the past where i um uh had a fractured uh, ankle and yeah. had to rely on it so i had to get a pot put on on my f- a foot um and it was it was a football related incident um and i had to just have help from my uh, from my parents uh, walking around in various things yeah uh, indeed so you know it's an unfortunate accident things happen so i think your life sucks yes absolutely um, sympathies. yeah our sympathies uh, OP. Mm. okay more context please oh we got it's time for a spicy, a spicy. We a spicy one yeah today my girlfriend tried to distract me from an argument i was winning by taking off her clothes for sex then she got mad when I told her to grow up and get dressed. By the way, the fight was over. By the way, the fight was over how she threw my mum's ashes in the trash. I don't Ooh. care if we never have sex again. I'm going to win this argument. Yeah, I think they could... Oh, God, that that's that's a lot of red flags uh, in that, I feel. Um, yeah. Maybe you should consider that relationship, I'm just saying, because it sounds like she tried to manipulate you there, and, you know, fortunately on UOP, you weren't having it. Um, yeah, and it's, but that's a horrible thing to do. I know, yeah. She, she had dead mum's ashes, and obviously you want to keep them as a, as a uh, commemoration and remembrance, yeah. and she goes along and sort of tries to throw them away and says, oh, don't worry, let's have sex to, to clear it off. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, I'm assuming in this comment that she threw them out deliberately, knowing what they were, and that it wasn't like a mistake yeah. or something. But even so, even oh, if it was a mistake, like that, yeah. I feel like trying to distract with sex is just still trying to be like manipulative, kind of. So uh, yeah, just um, c- 
consider that relationship, OP, because um, that sounds like a huge set of red flags, like I said, so your life sucks. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, lots of red flags. Mm. Okay. Indeed. Secret F. Today, my boyfriend started going off on me, calling me a psycho, all because I opened our bedroom door while he was in there. Wow, he... Um, what? <laughs> what? I'm not quite sure what's going on. What? Yeah, that seems strange. Um, Is he under a lot of stress at the moment? Because that's that's a weird thing to to start going off on someone just because yeah. they've opened the door. Indeed, yeah, it's, it's a bit weird. Um, I wonder if there's other problems in this relationship because I don't know if there could be more context going that's on here. Very volatile. Yeah, yeah. If it's, I don't know. Is this like the first time he's done something weird like that? Because if there's other times, maybe you need to just think carefully about that. Um, so more context needed perhaps absolutely um, more context yeah we need that that's that seems really strong maybe maybe some stress related um, yeah. things going on there as well indeed uh right yeah i'd say agree your life sucks but um yeah. have a strong think about that okay waiting today i celebrated my birthday by that i mean i spent most of the day alone in a field waiting for my boyfriend to have time for me then we broke up and ended up spending the evening crying alone on a beach Oof. okay that's a bad one <laughs> so the first thing we can we can uh, there's thing quite a few things to unpack here yeah first thing is what what alo what, what we're doing alone in a field yeah what's uh, alone in a field waiting for your boyfriend to have time for you in a field in a field hey? yeah did you go walk together <laughs> uh, did Indeed. he? Uh, and then he broke up in the middle of a walk because I don't understand why you'd just randomly be in a field, unless you absolutely love cows. <laughs> you love the sound, the smell of exquisite cow shit. <laughs> Do you know I mean? Uh, I mean, yeah. Sympathies with you on that one. That's a series of unfortunate events. That um, nobody wants to be in a situation like that. And then, and then like he went that. to a beach. Hmm. Yeah. Strange. Yeah. Very curious, but um, sympathies, I guess. Indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's yeah. never nice to when 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 things happen like that when you yeah. when you broke up. Okay. okay. Uh, about last night, there's another 2013 one. Today, my girlfriend got mad at me because I slept on the couch last night. She also seems to have forgotten that we had an argument last night. After which, she stormed into our bedroom and locked me out. <laughs> um, ah. Yes, seems odd. So it's a bit. Yeah, it's a bit uh, too too faced there. Yeah. Um, potential red flag. Just make a note of that. Um, yeah, it's seems to be quite a few relationship ones yeah. on this one, isn't there? Red flag yeah, relationships. The, yeah, that that doesn't seem that doesn't seem right at all. No, it doesn't. Um, um, yeah, there's a lot of people out there who do and say things. I don't know if it's just like the heat of the moment or if it's just being very manipulative, but um, it's just something to make a mental note of in case it starts to snowball into something bigger. Um, so yeah, sympathies on that one. Your life sucks. You know, but I mean, that's 2013, so it could yeah. be it could be completely fixed by could now. Be. Yeah, you never know. Okay, next one. Alexa, play "Make It Stop" by Low. Today, like every day since the new neighbours moved into the townhouse next door, their newborn won't stop crying. The room the two toddlers and newborn are in apparently shares a wall with my bedroom, so I hear crying while I work remote, study remote, and try to sleep. Oof. Yeah, that sounds rough. <laughs> Yeah, um, that, I'm afraid that's what happens with uh, uh, with babies. Yeah. They uh, do do a lot of crying. Indeed. Um, and the it's a shame that the room is right near where you are. Yeah. You, know, you might have to. Maybe you can distract yourself if you're working remotely, studying. Maybe with for that you can uh, put some headphones in and listen to some music. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, that's that's one option. The annoying thing is just when you're trying to sleep, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm wondering if there's a way, perhaps, to sort of broach the topic with your neighbours in a very gentle, sort of indirect yeah. way. So, like, say, I don't know, if you see them um, out and about, maybe you know, just have a nice conversation, and just see if you can sort of subtly steer the conversation. Yeah. To that. And say you know oh i heard you i've been hearing your baby crying a lot is, is everything all right something like that yeah that's a good that's yeah. a good shout then it shows you the room next yeah <laughs> so th there are ways i think you can try and sort of slyly bring it up um and see if you yeah. can sort of give them the hint that maybe um i don't know could they like move the baby's crib or something somewhere yeah. else could you know. please tell your fucking thing though, <laughs> or you take the direct approach like that yeah, <laughs> I, I, I also hope that uh, your viewers um 
don't have an Alexa there. I know. Because they probably would have started, yeah. yeah. Alexa. Oh, they do. <laughs> Alexa, play Anaconda by Nicki Minaj. Oh, God, there we go. <laughs> That's an infamous song. Yes. Uh, you know, we could just shout out any sort of song request. I here, know, because be some of us, one of you could have, a, could have an Alexa. You never yeah. know. Alexa, play Horst Vessel lead from Nazi Germany. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. That would Imagine be, if that someone would is awesome. listening to this video in a public setting in, like, an internet cafe and suddenly... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because they won't have their Alexa with them, why am I thinking? Or unless yeah, there's a good. Alexa in the internet cafe. Uh, oh, God, be, uh, imagine that, yeah. I know. It just comes out with that music. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yes, yeah, uh, okay. that's a Your Life Sucks on that one. So. <laughs> right, um, can't be asked to be honest. Uh, today my boyfriend told me that he's no longer interested in sex with me, as he just can't be bothered. <laughs> Everyone has those moments. Yes, yes those moments do happen. Spicy, me, the spicy one, this one. Um, there are moments we have, and sometimes you just, just can't be can't yeah. be asked doing things. And it might uh, just be a phase. Mm. Yeah, it might be. Maybe maybe later on, yeah. or, or the next day. Um, yeah, just keep a sort of eye on how long it goes on for. Because if uh, you know, it gets to the point where there's just no intimacy anymore in your relationship, then you'll see just how that kind of um, plays out. Whether but, you know, yeah, I just think you've also got to think if there comes points where you can't be bothered to do stuff, it can be a sign of, of yeah. various things. Um, I know that um, I know that this might be a bit too far at the moment, but I know that can't be bothered doing various things can be is the first initial stages of depression. Yeah, which is like like yeah. a motivation to do anything. Yeah, that can be. So, a sign. Um, is he motivated to do anything else? Yeah, uh, have a look at that sort. That's true. Look at uh, his life. You know, are there other signs? Um, is it not just sex, but is it other stuff in general that he just seems he can't be bothered? Are there signs potentially of like maybe he's withdrawn or? anything like that I'll say it is might just be that so it could be don't, don't take a word on it just yeah. and, and think it's there's that. things to look out for before maybe you conclude that perhaps the relationship just isn't working something like that so yeah uh, life sucks on that one but keep your eye on the situation and all that okay okay you. easy mistake to make today I saw a bird almost get run over in the middle of the road so I stopped the traffic to go rescue it it was an Adidas slide <laughs> sorry what um, what you... as in a as in a what do you mean the Adidas slide? It's like a type of shoe or something? I don't know. Um, I am going to research yeah, that Yeah, Phil's just Googling it now. Um, Adidas slide. Yeah. Let's have a look. So you mistook something for a bird. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what is it? Is it a shoe or something? Or? Oh, okay. So it's a. Um, it's like a sort of um, uh, sandal. Sandal, okay. Sandal, it's like a sort of sandal thing. Yeah. With the, it's basically where you, it's like a slip-on shoe with the okay. sort of um, uh, a, a strap that goes over the top of your sort of top of your foot. Okay, yeah. Um, it's kind of like a flip-flop sort of thing, maybe. Um, but very, very similar to that. Yeah. yeah. I don't quite know how you can mistake that for a bird. <laughs> um, oh dear. Yeah. Well, I mean, on the one hand, at least your heart's in the right place. But I don't know. Maybe get your eyes checked. <laughs> It does seem, yeah, it does seem um, mm. a bit, a bit, a bit strange how the. Um... Yeah, I mean, yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not necessarily going to say you deserved it on that one. Um, it's just maybe. Oh, have you sent me an image of it? Uh, I've sent you an image as well, just so you can oh, see. Shit. So oh, that's, that's, that's what it looks like. Apparently, that's what that down there. Is. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I mean, then I suppose some bits maybe we can look a bit like a. Uh, uh, black, uh, a blackbird. I think, yeah, put that picture up for the for the viewers yeah, as well. Yeah, will do. Um, a bit, I suppose, in that, maybe like a blackbird or something. That yeah. Could be. Possibly, yeah. I mean, if he's looking at it from a distance, maybe you can't quite tell what it is, but... Yeah. yeah it's, it's still a... nice to go and help, though. Yeah. Uh, even, though even though it was, but uh, it was... It turned out to be sure. It's a bit of a funny one, that one. Yeah. Quite <laughs> time we got a little funny one, and all, yeah. all these... Uh, quite sad, sad and dramatic ones. Yeah. I would hope that the yeah. drivers for you know amongst the traffic who stopped saw the humour in it and didn't just get impatient with you and start abusing you or anything like yeah. that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, indeed. Uh, next one. Gutsy move. Today, dealing with anxiety and depression, I finally got up the energy to bake. I chose homemade enchiladas. I then spent the whole day walking from the toilet to the nearest couch and vice versa, feeling like my intestines were going to blow. No more enchiladas for me for a long time. Ah, uh, did you not cook them in quite the right format? Yeah, sounds um, like it. Or have you, did you, I mean, what What did you put in them? Did you put chicken in that wasn't quite cooked very well? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, go be careful with chicken. That's unfortunate. Isn't it? Your life sucks. Um, but, hey, um, chalk it up to experience. Um, we've all had yeah, failed meals. Yeah. It's all about uh, practice baking. 
indeed it's a lot a lot of practice and getting trying to you know mix things around and various here's ingredients a, here's a question for you phil what's um well have you ever had like a certain meal that you've tried to cook and it's just failed miserably uh i think there has been i think there has been yeah they, well like i said when i oh, back when in school when i tried to do stir fry yeah i remember the uh, everything went wrong there and i yeah. never actually fully cooked it <laughs> um, yeah it, it turned into a massive mess indeed yeah. yeah for me it's probably like trying to make my own soup and things like that with vegetables and stuff like that. and it just comes out very like gritty and um uh, the texture of it just you know. is completely off um yeah so indeed i take after probably my just, dad a bit just, probably just shell out your money for heinz big soup <laughs> pines and yeah. get other, other soups are available indeed um yes. okie dokie right time to flee the crime scene today my date from the night before let me stay behind when he'd left for work i relaxed and i figured i'd be fine to let a little fart out unbeknownst to me not eating enough food over the past few days turned the contents of my bowels to liquid i sharted on their bed oh dear <laughs> Ooh, well there's a sign maybe get some uh, get some grub down here. yes um indeed that's crazy though like how, how little food have you been eating that you genuinely get that problem with your bowels because that's so they've turned basically to, to liquid like diarrhea bit, yeah it sounds um, bad that. yeah yeah i think uh you need to uh, get doctor, some grub down here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just get some more grub down here. Yeah, indeed. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, I'm not going to go as far as saying you deserved it, which a lot of people seem to have, but it's one of those things where, you know, just think about your own health, OP. Um, yeah. You don't want to be sort of These are signs. This, is, this might be a sign from your body saying it's time to check your health. Yes, indeed. So uh, I'd say more, um, it's your your date's life that sucks a bit there, <laughs> rather than yours. Yeah, but, um, just, well, not careful, just yours, right? yeah. Indeed. Get it cleaned as well. Okay. Indeed, yeah. There we go. Uh, I'm bad at confrontation. Today, I accidentally forgot my glasses in the store bathroom. When I finally noticed, I went back to the find that someone was wearing them as he was walking out of the store. I didn't have the balls to call him out on it. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so got another 2011, one. Yeah. this one. But, uh, oh dear, you should, you, well, you should, I know you, you you really should go after them, though, because yeah. it's your glasses, and, and they say, obviously, they, they, it doesn't look like they, they've stolen, it just looks no. like they've got confused yeah, they might their have, own yeah. glasses. Exactly. You don't need to confront them, you perhaps just need to just stop them and just, you know, gently say, I'm sorry, um, you didn't pick those glasses up from such and such a place by any chance, because they might be mine. That's all you need to say. Uh, yeah. Just jog their memory, and, you know, it might well get resolved very easily. I can see why people have have jumped on the you deserved it yeah. because you should have really gone after them to, to get get them back but still i think i feel like it's a bit harsh um, to kind of blame them some people just have you know problems with social situations like that especially ones where they have to grab people's attention um it can be you know embarrassing things like that and some people just have social anxiety and all that so yes yeah you got those yeah, yeah. it could be at play here as well i don't know um so personally um i would say sympathies to you rather than uh, yeah see if, hopefully you you've got them it. back Indeed, yeah. Okay, you next one. 10, 10 years ago. Uh, Indeed. 12, well, 11 years ago. Hopefully, you did now, get yeah. it back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mystery lump. Today, and for the past few years, I've had a mysterious lump on my pinky finger that will not go away. Every doctor I've gone to has absolutely no idea what it is or why I even showed up. I'm starting to think that I wouldn't like to find out what it is, even if a medical professional can't say. Yeah, if even a medical professional can't say for sure. I mean, it might just be like one of those kind of random mm. growths on your body or something. I don't know. Um, it could just be a growth, yeah. Yeah. Because um, some people do have that. They have just like uneven patches or like yeah, things a that are a bit that, lumpy on the body, but they aren't necessarily. There are anything. still things that the yeah. medical um, area still doesn't know for various different things. Indeed. Uh, they haven't been able to do it. Uh, but uh, hopefully they're not going to be as uh, as useless as the uh, doctors from Rayman 3. <laughs> Those yeah. ones, yes, indeed. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, they only work well when they're all together in the same room. So That's it, you know, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Playing their weird music. Um, but the thing is, like, I would imagine if you've seen several doctors on it, I mean, um, I would assume maybe they've referred you to have things like x-rays or... Um, yeah, just see something's inside it, yeah. something like a caught, like a, a little bit of metal object or something. Or if it's like, I don't know, like a cancerous growth or something like that, they probably, they probably would have picked up on I'm it. Thought, I would have thought, yeah, I would have thought they picked up on something like that, yeah. because um, they can they can take it like that, but I don't know. It's a bit strange that the uh, medical professionals are struggling mm. to work out what it is. Yeah, well, you know, you get something like that every so often where people aren't really sure. I remember once when I was a kid, um, I had like this strange, it was kind of... I, I, the closest I could say was kind of like a rash on my arm. Oh, it right. It wasn't really like a rash. It was more like weird, like pustules. 
it's like covered oh, by okay. skin. And you know, my mum took me to a doctor to look at it, and the doctor was like, "I actually don't know what that is." Um, so we just, but eventually it just went down on its own. I never had yeah. problems like that since. And we maybe but, figured that perhaps maybe because I've been playing in the garden, maybe something had bitten me. Um, or yeah, like or an insect or something. Sometimes when you brush up against plants, some yeah. plants can do that. You've really got to be careful. Indeed. Um, so it's probably what it was, but yeah, like I say, it wasn't serious. It, um, it was just odd. We didn't know what it was. <laughs> I get nervous with rashes, especially yeah. with the uh, infamous rash that if you um, uh, press it or roll a, a glass over it, it doesn't fade. Yeah. Um, Indeed. So there you go. Uh, yeah, you'll have that's a, on that one. That, that's a symptom of a very bad... Um, disease yeah. that um, um, that can uh, be life-threatening which isn't great yeah, yeah. indeed um, is it me or you next uh, it is you yeah it is me I got so <laughs> talking then about my own uh, uh, childhood experience I completely forgot what it was uh, dodged a bullet today I went through the stuff I had left at my ex's place and started unpacking it I found a pair of another girl's panties we broke up a little over a week ago ah uh, yes uh -oh. well you did certainly dodge a bullet there yes. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think we know now why uh, we broke up uh, yes probably he was having a bit of an affair maybe yeah. um, oh, I, ca I can't I, I can't condone that to all people cheating yeah uh, unless it's in a, in a, the only the only time I'll accept cheating is in a single player video game <laughs> I will not accept cheating with uh, relationships exams anything like that just single player video games there we are you see you heard it here first cheat all you want in single player video games oh dear dear me yes I mean oh, yeah, dear dear as a your life you sums on that one OP definitely yeah. um, right, okay indeed. isn't there someone you forgot to ask spicy time today I've come to the realisation that my girlfriend's mini Australian shepherd dictates everything from a hug and kiss bye to when we try to have sex the worst part is she won't do anything about it looks like another night with a damn dog between <laughs> us <laughs> Maybe have a chat with well, your uh, girl about this. Hmm. Yeah, d uh, don't you shouldn't let your yeah. <laughs> girlfriend's dog choose what's going on. Shut it outside the room. Put it outside in the kennel or something. Um... Oh, this is the great dog oracle. <laughs> oh, dog oracle, what shall I have for tea tonight? Shall it be a chicken curry or shall I go over the pizza route? Tell me <laughs> now. <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> That's my dog what, voice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one, one bark for uh, pizza, one, two bark for the curry. I should do my uh, Scooby-Doo voice, actually. Ooh, Rocky! <laughs> Here we are. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's a bit weird and strange, that, though. Yeah, it does indeed. Absolutely. Yeah, that's um, your life sucks on that one. Uh, but have a chat with your girlfriend about it. Because um, you need to do something, you know, with that dog just to move it to another room so it can't get in. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Um, okay. but, um, classic. Today, my wife woke me up saying her husband was home and that I needed to escape before he caught me. I was still struggling with the window and I remembered I'm her husband and she was laughing, filming my half asleep ass trying to escape from being caught by myself cheating with my own wife. <laughs> well, that's a, that's a, a, a series of strange events. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be yeah. honest, though. I don't know why people have thought you deserved it when clearly there's a third option here, which is that's hilarious. Yes, we need that one. It's, this is the perfect one that that's hilarious would fit for. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. That is that is a bit funny. That is indeed. I mean, it sounds a bit like maybe this op possibly has a bit of a touch of somnambulism or whatever the whole sleepwalking thing if they're actually doing things and responding to things in their sleep and they're not yeah, quite fully awake that sleepwalking, eh? yeah something like that and she's probably just playing a prank on you um but yes um indeed so yeah was, the fact that she's filming as well yeah can, can, can sort of confirm it's a prank yeah yeah i would say yeah uh, okay <laughs> as long as she's not sharing the film with people and uh, kind of you know well, yes, uh, you don't want it to be manipulative, but as far as I can tell, you know, um, it's more of a that's hilarious moment than anything else, so... It certainly is. Yes. Uh, okay, chess players, I swear. Today, I tried playing chess with my wife, Sober, and remembered why we only play while I'm trash drunk. She's so bad, I have to be on the precipice of alcohol poisoning to even enjoy playing with her. Otherwise, it's like playing a two-year-old. <laughs> Oh, oh dear, dear. Oh, yeah, dear. and the little funny one. Yeah, well, uh, you know, maybe you, you can teach her. Maybe something you can bond over even more. Um, yeah, you know. I mean, it's it's it is a it's a very uh, strong logic game. Yeah, uh, it's chess. It's uh, I know there is 
some some difficulty to it as well. But if you teach and mm. get to learn the different process of how the uh, how the various pieces move, yeah. uh, you know what we need, Phil. I want, I've got I've got some homework for you to do for our next recording session. I want you to write me an erotic chess story, um, <laughs> an erotic oh, chess romance. Oh my yes. goodness me! Now. Her fingers danced over the slender forms of the bishops. <laughs> Ooh, that oh God! Weird, that actually, we've got like a, a Fifty Shades of Grey sort of one. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I believe um, chess is one of the oldest games, isn't it? They it's were, one of them yeah. way back. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like thousands of years old. It's really ancient, yeah. I and mean, it has its roots in like variations of it played in places like India and things like that. There's a few board games which um, you know have their roots going way back. Like for example, Go, that's like a, um, derived from the Chinese Wei Qi. Um, which is like another really ancient one, um, and uh, incredible that people still play it today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Indeed. it is a good little, a good little game as well. I've played it a few times. Yeah, right. Okay, uh, on to the next one. Alas, poor Mickey. Today I did my laundry. When I took it out, everything was clean, including the mouse that had been hiding in it. Ooh, Ooh. that's an old one from 2010. But yeah, poor mouse. Definitely, the mouse's life sucks on that one. I know that poor God. that poor little mouse. That's basically the scene from the original Stuart Little, where he gets trapped in the washing machine. Except this one has a grisly end to it. I know, poor poor mouse. I know. Yeah. We certainly will get battered when you are inside a washing machine. Indeed. Oh dear, that poor little mouse. Oh no, he's gone. He's gone forever. <laughs> Me Stop. thinks you're not being sincere about that, there, Phil. Poor little man. No, poor little <laughs> yeah, man. Indeed. No. He's just putting it. Yeah, yeah uh, that's uh, yeah, that's not a your life sucks or a you deserve it. That's the mouse's life sucks. <laughs> mouse big time sucks. Indeed. There you go. Right, stepping out for a spicy. Today I found out that my wife has been stepping out for two years with her two best friends' husbands, our neighbour who lives with his mother, and a complete stranger she worked with for four days. She was also pregnant while all this was going on. Then she had a nervous breakdown and I had to take her to hospital. Damn! God, she gets around. Good lord. <laughs> God, she sounds bike, eh? Yeah. Um, oh dear, oh dear. Yes. Well, yeah. Uh, That's unfortunate. Time to move on. Mm, it uh, is. I mean, I know that obviously the fact she's pregnant means that this is complicated, but yeah, I mean, seriously, sense. yeah, don't, don't, don't feel you have to stay in the marriage for the sake of the kid. You can just divorce and, you know, take the kid on certain days and just help look after them and all that. But seriously, um, yeah, the, it, it's it's a horrible situation to be in. Absolutely. Oh, that's, yeah, I know. Uh, why, if, if, why do people cheat? I mean, uh, if, you, if, you, if you feel like you need to go on... And, and you, you feel like it's not working and you love someone else then i think i think it's best to just tell because if you're trying to if you're trying to hide it, it's just going to get found yeah. out in the end <laughs> it's, it's going to make gonna it gonna worse but what's just amazing about this one is it's so excessive like two I best know. friends husbands the neighbor and a complete stranger i'm starting to wonder here if there's like one of these kind of mental health things of like people who are like compulsive cheaters and things like this and it's like there's some deeper underlying problem um, yeah, she needs yeah. a therapist or something god knows but yeah <laughs> your life sucks on that one op big time yeah okay okay you Thank are you. what you eat today my roommate still chooses to waste his money on mcdonald's food for breakfast lunch and dinner he politely refuses to eat my nutritious home-cooked meals that people say taste amazing then he complains he's in a shitty mood all the time i wonder why yes well that's the uh, what uh, that's one of the negative things about eating uh, fast food um, yeah. <laughs> is the um, it can um, turn your mood but also oh my god his health I know his it's health is going to be exactly dire. yeah I mean I don't know why 363 people have voted you deserved it on that because it just feels like he's you know this roommate here has got a problem um he's like you can't be eating just that for all day every day it's going to have a health problems like, um, Super Size Me, yeah, uh, indeed, the famous one. Mm. Um, the, I mean, yeah, it's always good to have a little treat, but yeah. not to have it all the time. You need to have nutritious meals. I mean, me, oh my God, I love salad, like cucumber, tomato, beetroot, yummy, 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 yummy. It's so, it's so good. But um, uh, there are times, yeah, that you do have to treat yourself. No, no worries. You, you, you may feel like um, one day, oh, nah, not tonight, not tonight. Um, let me just. Boom, let's get Deliveroo open. Well, what's, <laughs> what's nearby? Oh, here we oh, go. Quick Kirsten cheeky nap doors. Yeah. Mm. Just get one down to you. Yeah, um, indeed. But well, um, you've got to treat yourself. But yeah, yeah having having it all the time. Oh, health problems. I remember when I watched Super Size Me, because um, obviously it was, only, it was only allowed to have... Um, there was two rules uh, in the film. Um, 
uh, the first rule was he couldn't eat anything but McDonald's for breakfast, lunch and tea and he's doing this for 30 days <laughs> and the second rule was if the employee said do you want that supersized he had to say yes oh god um, and he was being monitored by doctors as well and when it came to the um, the final days like day 29 and everything there was um, a scene where he was recording from his bed and he's saying I have never ever felt so bad yeah <laughs> No um, wonder. Um, sounds terrible. So yeah, uh, I think it's a, your life sucks on that one. Um, it's just not a good situation to be in. Mm. Many such cases. Today my wife admitted she loves me as a father to our children, but is no longer attracted to me. Yeah, that's a horrible situation to be in, um, where the romance has gone completely. Um, so yeah, maybe it's time to split up, but um, as long as you can still you know, access be the there kids, be kids. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Indeed. be there kids, which is nice. I mean, at the end of the day, sometimes when, when people split up, they still stay friends, yeah. which is really good. Mm. Yeah, I know that can that can sometimes happen, stay friends, or uh, sometimes they they want to be friends just to be there for the kids as well. Yeah, indeed. As a your life sucks on that one. Um, not much else to say, indeed. Sex ed is a mess, Phil. Uh, today my do uh, daughter told me that she's pregnant with twins. It'd be an exciting piece of news, except for the fact that she's a sophomore in high school. Okay, Ooh. I'm going to need clarification. How old is sophomore age? I can't uh, remember. Let me do, let me do one. Get the Google up, get Dr. Google up, Phil, to uh, tell us the answer. Sophomore year, age. Sophomore um, age, yeah. yeah. What is that? Is that like... Yeah, because unfortunately we're, we're from the UK and we don't know. Yeah. Uh, so... Sophomore is the 10th grade, which for UK years is year 11, which is age 15 to 16. Ooh. I mean, so obviously, if you're talking about sophomores, you're probably in America, which would probably be underage then. Um, yeah. 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 So that's year 11 for us. Yeah. So it's 15 to 16 years old. Indeed. Yeah, wow. That's, uh, that's quite young to be... Uh, it pregnant. is. Mm, yeah. Oh, yep. No, I've said it before. Sex education. as well. I know. Sex ed in, well, certainly here in the UK and from what I understand in the US as well, is shockingly inconsistent across different schools. Yeah, we and didn't have much. There was, we did, the, I remember in school there was a little bit yeah. uh, where we had it, but it wasn't like full on. No. Uh, it wasn't. It's always like bloody. Um, Wear well, a condom. It, it, <laughs> no, but it was always like um, they, they'd like get bananas. Oh, and yeah. You have to put the condom over the car. <laughs> we never but, actually did that in my high school. Or it was a, 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 pl a plaster cast of a, a bloody penis. Yeah, well, uh, we did have that, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but we never did the thing where you put the condom on whatever. It was just the same message over and over again of wear a condom, wear a condom, wear a condom. Yeah, and all you do the time. Want kids. Yeah, it's yeah. just like, oh, you know, it was, I've said this in the series being on today episode, but sex ed lessons when I was in high school, um, it was always just couched in terms of risk, you know, wear a condom, oh, sexually transmitted diseases, you don't want them. Yes, all that as well. There's oh, nothing. my God, it was, it was not really yeah. great. Really in terms wasn't. of, they like... They need to do it more. Maybe, maybe that's the situation now. Yeah. Maybe it's got better. We maybe. Know. Who knows? But we always felt like they needed to do more in terms of actually just talking about, you know, if you do decide to have sex, how to actually make sure it's, you know, a nice, loving experience... Um, and it's not just constantly couched in risk, how to, you know, be able to please one another, things like that. That's the sort of thing they could yeah. talk about, because that's the thing, like, I left high school when I was a teenage lad, barely knowing anything about, for example, women's bodies, and that's the thing that was pretty much been had to be self-taught, um, because the thing is, like, high school just doesn't teach you anything about it. Yeah. Yeah. You go away with more questions than answers. Hopefully they've improved, hopefully hopefully. They've improved it nowadays, but yeah. we'll see. Okay. Sorry, I went on a bit of a mini tirade there. Uh, your life sucks on that one. <laughs> High pressure environment. Today it's been two weeks since my wife started her new job. She got overwhelmed and fell off the wagon on Monday. Instead of going to work, she spent the last week passed out drunk and she'll probably get fired. We really needed that 100k a year she was going to make. <laughs> oh dear. Um, wow. That's, um, yeah, oh, she has yeah, problems. So, I think you need to sit yeah, down and so have a chat with her and find out. Yeah, went and instantly went on to uh, drink. Yeah. That's not, that, yeah, that's not good at all. Now we're going to have to explain to the boss what's, what's happened. Indeed. Oh, dear. Yeah. Blimey, make that's a fair bit you're making there. Jesus. I know. I mean, if it's 100k a year, I imagine it's probably quite a high-pressure job, like the title of the post says. But still, I think you need to sit her down and have a chat with her and maybe work through her anxieties, perhaps. Yeah. Your life sucks on that one. Yeah, really to work on that. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing in here? Today, I drove into a cluster of dustbins thanks to my dozy cat who managed to get into my car, fall asleep and wake up while I was driving to work. I lost control when I started by him staring at me in the rearview mirror. Oh dear. <laughs> it's another Funny oldie. Cats, in the yes. 2012 one. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, it's a bit I of a... They are funny on their cats, though. Yeah. They really are. 
It was yeah. a bit of a overreaction feel to see the count back and then like whoa and then lose control. But it yeah. must have given you a bit of a shock, I imagine. Mm. Yeah, because obviously count's not supposed to be there. But yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed. I think your life sucks on that one, definitely. Um, not much right. else to say. Yes, the last one. Uh, here we are. This is the last one. Okay, today, uh, this is Dumbest Cheetah, and for the last few weeks, I let the nagging feeling that my boyfriend was up to something go. It's also the day I found his messages to other girls on Xbox Live, of all <laughs> things, on a profile that we both share. Yeah, he's dumb. Why, I mean, if you're going to have an affair with not just one, but multiple other people, you know, at least, for the love of God, use a communication system that your partner's not going to find and easily access. Not that I'm condoning it, don't worry. That but, sounds uh, very much like you're condoning it there. I'm sorry, yeah, sorry, I'm actually... Uh, <laughs> of saying no I know, cheating. indeed. But yeah, also, why is it, he's, he's, he's talking to Girls Next Xbox Live. It's, it's, it's <laughs> um, yeah, does he, does he know these people? Presumably yeah. not, but, uh, yes. Um, yeah, but he's being very dumb there. Yeah, he's being dumb as hell. Well, he deserves to get sharing, ditched. <laughs> sharing the account there as well. Indeed, absolutely. Yeah. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a different. Your life sucks on that one. Um, cheating. Oh, 100%, Never yeah. good. Yes. Don't, don't do it. Don't. Mm. Because um, it, it goes to show um, as well that you're obviously not interested in the um, in the relationship. If you if you do if you are cheating, it's yeah. not going to. But you don't have the. It, it's a bit. It's a bit pussy because it's it's like you don't have the confidence to uh, say, oh, it's not working. Yeah. Um, <laughs> give it give it a break. Um, Instead of, no, I'll secretly go with someone else behind your back. Mm, yes, indeed. Well, there you go, folks. Um, that was another round of F My Life with me and Phil. And um, yeah. feel free to leave your thoughts on some of these in the comments below if you wish. Thanks for joining me, Phil. And if you don't wish, then don't wish. Fine. Yeah. Be like don't that. Wish. Be like that Bye. way. Be that way, Barker. Good Lord, get out of here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Sunday, right? Uh, right. I always know how to get a groan out of Phil. Yes, certainly. Thanks so much for the links down below, along with the link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated. But on that, this is the two of us signing off. We goodbye, are signing everybody. off. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Hello? Come down. Oof. He's got machine guns on this thing. Christ. Christ! Christ!